Hi all. I played a two game match against Leela Zero yesterday. So this is related to the Alpha Zero project, except it's a kind of open source version. And you can actually play against uh, Leela Zero. I played, I believe, the same ID it hasn't changed since yesterday, 82, uh, yesterday in a couple of games, uh, which we'll get to soon. But I thought I should really try and introduce this. Uh, what what is going on here? It's a different form of chess artificial artificial intelligence using self learning. Uh, so you can actually help make Leela Zero uh, stronger. So you can contribute uh, your GPU or CPU. Uh, there's a link here. Okay, so this is play.lc0.org. Uh, so why would that be in interesting to contribute to something like like this project? I I think. What we saw with uh, Alpha Zero were really fascinating uh, chess games. Uh, they showed us new kind of almost dimensions of attacking chess, and how you know, like the bishop on c8 was was actually a really major factor for positional sacrifices. I thought they were fascinating, and you know, uh, and reflected actually some advanced attacking ideas because I think Kasparov had some of those ideas uh, in the Queen's Engine. Those those ideas. So, that, so from the point of view of creating uh, a sort of artificial chess uh, player which is really strong and maybe can teach us uh, ideas new concepts that's what I, I find is is quite interesting uh, so let's see the modes uh, so I I chose in the two games that you're going to see easy and normal because what happened on hard I started the game but it actually froze because it's only running on on one computer here so I'm hoping they get more resources for this project to, for people to to play it uh, so and it's it it says the they can be compared to nodes in traditional chess engines in normal mode Leela is playing very fast can miss tactics and mates but it's the simplest way to see how she behaves in hard mode uh, Leela will play much better but it takes more calculation so you have to wait like five seconds uh, after she answers not to overload the server uh, so in easy mode Leela is not doing any calculations playing pu purely by insight and taking the board and evaluating what's interesting so here's a history uh, chart here uh, and um, so it's it's an interesting project to see if we can you know do this open source version of basically alpha zero so if you enjoyed the alpha zero videos you might be interested in this in this project okay so i think that's a basic introduction i'll try and give some links in the description for further uh, information about it so what follows now will be the couple of games i actually played yesterday uh, and i had to stop when i went into hard mode after a few moves so there's a bit of editing there so i hope you enjoy this video overall thanks very much Hi all, let's play against Leela Zero, so LC Zero ID eighty two. So this is a relative of Alpha Zero, which was a great there was a great deal of interest in the chess world. So Leela Zero um, is uh, more of an open source project, and in fact, it says here you you can make uh, Lilo chess uh, stronger by contributing your GPU or CPU at um, lc0.org okay let's let's try an easy mode uh, I think we're on mode easy and I'll play e4 let's play a Vienna game oh it's pretty quick she's pretty quick shall I say uh, but is my is my kingside uh, storm gonna be estimated oh that's interesting it's like a, a pawn set I think I'm gonna keep pawns intact oh I'm gonna take on d4 Five here. Should I be scared? On G three now. What about C three and then D four? Can I do that without getting murdered? So D four here, blunting that bishop. Bishop E three. When I bring my knight back, maybe knight E three. I think knight E three. Queen E one to chase the queen. All right, queen's off. My f four is is a bit weak. Okay, if I play knight g four. Knight h four. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so Bishop E3 here. Put my knight back. Let's block that. All right, there's a bit of a grip on the light squares. Huh. Okay, so what about knight G3 then? Yeah. Take H4 to clamp down on G5. Uh, clamp down a bit. Oh, is that pawn going to be a liability? Okay, I'll play uh, maybe for C4, C5. Or not. That's C4 for D5. I try and arrange my knight for D5. It will double the rooks. Ah, C4. Alright, C4. So knight D3 and then now is knight B4 possible here? Or is there C5? I think knight B4 might be possible. My pawn's getting broken up. Knight C6 and then I've got d5 on the cards. This is looking good. I think I'm doing the damage here on the easy level at least. Okay, doing the damage. Okay, it's probably not a, she's probably not as strong as as Alpha Zero one suspects from this game so far. Okay. Uh I'll take here, go to b5, play this check, play rook d6 check, go over here, take this, take this bishop. Rook c7 is. No, it's not checkmate yet. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Let's try normal now. So we're on normal. Restart the game. I think we're on normal. Let me see. Um, I did. I did click. Yeah, current normal. Okay. It does say current normal. So play out 200. Wait time zero seconds. All right. So let's try the same sort of attacking scheme uh, so this sort of kingside pawn storm to see if there's any major uh, differences oh there is there's a queenside attack here with some extra time there's a queenside attack I'm a bit worried to put my knight on a4 let's put it here oh let's try and reinforce e4 this is getting a bit scary to reinforce e4. All right, if I'm playing knight d2 for knight f3, and this queen side attack, yeah, is is interesting. So I play knight f3. I can still do a sort of king side pawn storm here. I think. If I arrange for g5, that g5 break, rook e2, rook g2, h4, g5. Oh, hang on, uh, the h file is going to be dangerous. All right, I've got to get my king a bit safer, I think, and then play for g5 like this. So I'm playing for g5 here. Uh, still, it's not an ideal situation for g5, or is it? Ah, uh, I'll go for it. Oh no, g1 is attacked. What have I done? I'm in trouble. I could be. It's very likely I could be in trouble. I could be losing this pawn. I could safeguard the pawn and then play bishop e3. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but... Anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I play queen f2 to try and make an inroad on that diagonal? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, I think I'm still in the game um, I don't know if Queen B6 is useful yeah I'm not not sure I'm liking this position Queen B6 I don't think it does anything Rook H3 all right if we get the rooks off what happens if the rooks do come off What about actually playing for rook h7 if that's on the on the cards? Oh, there's rook f4 for bishop f5. Hold on a sec. So if I play king h2, I think mean, there's bishop f5 for e4. He h2 might be uh, a move. I play rook h7 
seven now, no? Uh huh. Actually, isn't there a check and then rook g8? That will try and win that pawn. Isn't rook g8 on the cards? Oh, I think I've got her on the run. I think. Yeah, I've, I've nicked a pawn. Okay, let's play this check here. So, Bishop F5. Okay, I've, I think I'm still in a driving seat here. King G4. Queen F3. Maybe Queen F3 gives me Bishop D5 later. Maybe Queen F3 is the way to go. Rook G5. Uh, King F2. There's Queen D4. I don't think I should allow that. Um, mm, need to think here. Uh, um, King F2. King G4. Mm, a bit concerned. Uh, no, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm kind of stuck. This is a very difficult position. If I've got a parry king... Uh, uh, Am I stuck? Am I? Oh, let's let's try king here for a moment. No, hell on bishop f5. All right, all right, all right. In fact, yeah, I I'm really stuck because of f5. I'm stuck because of f5. Um, possibly, no. Queen F2, King check, King F3, Bishop F5. Mm, no, I don't like it. I don't like this. All right, Queen F3 it is. All right, let's go here. Aha. Uh -huh. Interestingly, Bishop D5 might be something. Or rook h7 for bishop d5. What about rook h7? Maybe things are picked up a bit here. Alright, so bishop d5 gives me... Okay, I think I need to make my king a bit safer. Hold on. What about queen h3? Hold on. Check king here. I'm not getting mated that quickly, am I? Do I have queen h3? I'm playing here? Hang on. I've got some checks, but my king is, is getting area. Um, bishop's holding g2. Where are the other checks? Hmm. 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 Where are the other checks if I move my rook for queen h8? So if I played rook c7, where are the other checks? Hmm. Rook c7. Don't know. The queens could come off, but surely that's better for me. I'm actually hitting c5 as well. So I think rook c7. Yeah, I think without further ado, rook c7. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm comfortable here then. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable here if I'm taking c5. Uh, yeah. Should I be worried? There's g7 check here. And then bishop d5. Should I be worried? I don't think so. Uh, okay, this looks as though it's all over. Bar the shouting. Yeah, I'm just the bishop up. Oh, that that was definitely a scary experience. Uh, let's avoid the stalemates. King h7. Bring the king over. And queen. Okay, check. All right, let's take these pawns then. 
or, or just just create another pawn or something, anything. All right, trying to avoid stalemates here. King e4 is possible. Right, so check and mate. All right. Um, all right. Okay, let's try hard then. Okay, we're going to go hard now. So uh, it says hard. So we're going to restart the game now. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those two games. And the the third game in hard modes, uh, there were a few moves, but then it kind of froze. I'm following now one of the links I presented you at, at the start for if you want to contribute your CPU and what's basically going on. So apparently there's 617 users in the last day and they've played a ton of games. Uh, yeah, okay, 200, over 220,000 games there. Uh, 221,000 games, so a ton of games. Um, and yeah, this progress thing, this ELO rising, that's not an exact uh, ELO rating. It's uh, it's some sort of measurement, but it doesn't correspond to ELO because <laughs> that will be pretty high ELO at 4,500. But um, yeah, so this is this is an interesting graph here, and let's let's follow some of these links then uh, matches. Training runs, stats. Cool. So there's there's quite a lot of stats, uh, networks, and there's a forum. That's cool. And GitHub. Uh, so it's open source on GitHub. Leela Chess. So anyway, I hope you find the project. Uh, quite interesting uh, comments questions like shares appreciated and maybe want to you know check out the project stuff thanks very much